That's what I want, okay? I'm going to get what I want, okay? It's time. I get what I want. <laughs> All right, so i tell you what I want, what I really, really want, okay? So that's what I want. I want a new place. I want new furniture. I want everything that people stole from me. I want all of it back. Not really the stuff that they stole. That was old stuff they have used and probably abused. But y'all get my point. I want my stuff back. Okay? I want my house furnished. I want it the way I want it. Okay? I want my classic pictures. I want my antiques back. I want all of that stuff back. <laughs> Why am I getting all feisty? I don't know. I don't know, you guys. But yeah, I got on my Shein top, you guys. Yeah, Billy, all popping out. That's okay, though. I'm working on it. <laughs> I still look. I still look cute. I need to get me a um an opinion. An eyeliner pen because this one I put on like false like freckles or whatever and the one I had on yesterday was much better this one is a little bit too light but it is natural looking but on top of makeup it doesn't set really good so I don't know I don't know. I, I need a. I know I have eyeliners. I have plenty of eyeliners at home, but some of them just doesn't stay put. They're not like the drying type of eyeliner pencils. So that's what I'm like trying to, you know, what I'm thinking about. So, yeah. So, yeah, you guys, I'm hungry. I haven't eat a thing. I'm so hungry, you guys. Y'all think I eat like crazy, but I do not. This is all, like, stuff, abuse that happened to me. I do not eat like that. I don't. I don't eat a whole lot, but it may look like it, but I don't. That's the stress of having water retention problems and things like that. It's like you don't eat much, but you just, like, swell. Uh, I can't wait to go see the thyroid doctor. I do think a good bit of it is coming from me having the thyroid nodule or whatever, this swollen lymph node. I've researched it. It can cause weight gain or some people lose weight. Um, I just need to get to a good specialist and see what's going on because that's really when I started to gain weight was when my throat this this started swelling and that's when I started to gain weight um, the only time I gained weight outside of all this after the thyroid was just when I was pregnant and that was normal okay but I really I, I got I supposed to have went like last week I probably told y'all but I had to postpone it because once again, I had a lot of drainage coming out of my ear, going down into my throat, and I wasn't going to take that trip because I was feeling a little wheezy like, and I know it was because of the, the drainage and the fluid in my ears, so I took my antibiotics. I feel better now. However, when I wake up now, now my voice is not hoarse all day. It's just early in the morning, and I think I'm taking a shower too early in the morning, like everybody has different temperatures like when you're living with other people everybody can have different temperatures some say i'm comfortable some say i'm cold some say i'm hot so we all having different temperatures so i can't keep my like when i was living in my own place i could i would keep it on a certain degree so like like say for 73 degrees or something like that and it would keep me warm like all night but then there's people there that I do live with. They are like, it's hot. Turn it off. They used to the air 
the heat being turned off and I'm not used to that. I'm used to it when it gets a little cool, I will turn the heat, I will put on the heat, but I will turn it on say 73 degrees, something like that, or 70, you know, 71 degrees, just get enough heat where the house don't get cold. And so, because the house is getting cold, I feel like I am getting too cold when I am sleeping. And when I wake up, I'm just like, hey. you know, I'm just like, and then finally it smooths out. Like when I drink like some lemon water, oh my God, lemon water is amazing. And especially lemon tea. Lemon tea is even better. But if you don't have tea, you can, um, you can like literally just get some lemon water and it will it will take care of all of that it take care of all that hoarseness and sore throat and I, I was like literally using um sore throat longes whatever they call it longes i can't say that word i can't say it but it's like sore throat drops or whatever you want to call it i was using those those do work but when I start drinking the lemon water, I drink a cup. I need to drink more cups. I used to drink like, shoot, how many liters? And I lost a lot of weight. And if I get back to that, I can lose this weight. And it, my weight is out in my stomach though this time. It's, uh, the first time around I gained all this weight, it was like pretty much all over. This time I feel like it was all over and then it just ended up just just collecting all in my stomach so i did just because i'm being safe you guys because the abuse that i've been through or what i've gone through i want to check everything i've been to so many specialists just making sure everything is okay so far everything is okay but i did set up an appointment to see a stomach doctor just to see that everything is okay um, because my stomach I look like I don't want to say that because it could go the wrong way but my stomach is too big and I normally don't gain a lot of weight in my stomach area usually I gain weight in my thighs when I gain weight it's always usually in my thigh area or my leg area somewhere like that it doesn't, I, I've never had a problem with gaining weight in my stomach area, except for when I was pregnant. That was it. And then when I had my baby and I lost the weight, uh, of course I had a little pouch, okay? That's normal. I'm, I'm okay with that. I don't regret that at all. I mean, that's, having birth is one of the most precious moments of your life. Um... But like, I'm noticing like, it's been years. I had my daughter back in 2002, like June 30th. So I'm just wondering why am I getting so large in my stomach? I did do some research and it says like, when you get into the menopause stage, which I'm 45, I don't want, I, I, I don't consider myself an old person. But I am in that mid, like that uh, menopausal age group, okay, where you start to experience it and go through it. Uh, I'm gonna take this light, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm gonna take this. Um, but I'm at that age where I'm in that zone, and they say when you go get into that zone like that, that. A lot of times you don't produce enough estrogen and so because you don't produce enough is it estrogen or progression I'm trying to think y'all I did my research I'm good at researching okay I was good in school and I'm still good but anyways it's either estrogen I think it's estrogen you guys when you don't when you start when you lose estrogen this is something that I found out when you go through menopause, you lose estrogen. And you know, as women, we naturally produce estrogen. 
So when we lose that estrogen level, just like how we lose collagen, as we get older, we lose collagen and we start to wrinkle up or have lines and stuff like that. Well, you do the same thing through menopause. You start to lose a lot of estrogen. Your estrogen level decreases, women. And so um, when that happens, it can cause you to bloat or you, it can cause you to get uh, real big in the midsection and I used to notice that I noticed that a lot of elderly women and I'm not being funny this is real deal just me trying to research and they show pictures of some more like elderly women and they show these pictures of the women where the midsections were big like you know it's true like it's real and this is just medical things i'm not being smart i'm not trying to be rude but it's true it's like the midsection is the where the estrogen just kind of i don't know it's like your body telling you you need some estrogen okay now i know i can get on birth control and right now i'm not on birth control because i'm not having sex number one and um I know it still doesn't hurt to be on birth control, but when I'm on birth control, I feel like sometimes I get really um, emotional or something. It like affects my, um, I can tell it's estrogen and progression. And, and sometimes I get like really excited and stuff. And then next thing you know, I'm just like, uh, it kind of affects my emotion is what I'm trying to say. It affects my emotion. So I've always had problems with birth control from day one when I was younger. I could not find the right birth control for me where I felt good. I would always like for some reason birth control would make me sick and um, just I always had problems. Now, I did find a birth control that do work for me, and I love it. Like, you go, like, three months without a, um, without that light changed on me. About time I went up under the light, and that's damn police. But anyways, the estrogen just, what was I saying? I found the birth control. The only thing about the birth control is this. Uh, I love the fact that I had three months with no period. Wonderful. And at the beginning, my period was still very light. When I when that third month would come, I would have four periods a year. It was amazing. Best birth control ever. I didn't have no side effects. It was good. But then after taking it for a year, I noticed that when I would come on my period, it would be really rough and tough. Instead of getting off the birth control, I should have went back to the gynecologist and I should have talked to them about it and see, was there something else I could have took for that reason or did or whatever the gynecologist thought I should do, whether I should stop. I just stopped on my own, okay? And I've done that with birth control. I know what to do. And I stopped on my own, but I really do miss that pill. I miss it. Because not only did it help me out with my period, but also it did kind of, it didn't give me all of those adverse reactions like other hormonal pills does. And the gynecologist told me she'd be more than willing to write out another prescription for that. And I'm thinking about going back on it um, because I'm noticing my stomach. But however, I got an appointment to see a stomach doctor just to take a look at everything, see what goes on, what's going on. And I think it's just going to be, uh, yeah, I think it's just going to be the lady thing, like the menopausal thing. That's what I think. But I don't know. I'm not the doctor. And I probably just need some uh, hormones uh, replaced, like some estrogen. Uh, my estrogen level is probably low. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking my estrogen level is just low, you guys. That's seriously what I think. Um, because I've done the research. So, talking about how, how do I get on health. But I love talking about health. i just been doing my own research. I've been staying up, you guys, at night just trying to figure out like 
just so many things I've been thinking about. You know, it's not like a burden or anything. Just things that I need to think about. Some things that I need to, like, sit down and think about. Like, what, you know, some things that I, when I was sick, I wasn't able to take care of in a sense. So, I've been really just taking my time and, like, really just asking myself what I feel like I need and then if I had any questions I literally been writing down notes and just like researching and so when I do go to these doctors I would have questions to ask about like the question to get answers for things that I do not know much about because I'm not a doctor I'm not a specialist you know I don't have a PhD these, so when I go to a doctor who do have a PhD, they will know exactly what I'm, you know, the answer that I need to help me to understand. Because what I'm going through now is sort of like when you first start your period and you're coming into, uh, you know what I'm talking about, like when you start your period. You know, you have to understand that and you just have to kind of put it in your mind what's going on and why this is happening why you're having a period you know so I feel like now at this state in my life now at 45 and being in a menopausal state um, like process I've got to understand it to be able to know why say my body is changing and why I have like little sweats or night sweats at night and to understand what's going on. Like sometimes I wake up, I'm soaking wet. I'm just like, what the heck? What is going on? <laughs> I do need to put some gas in the car, you guys. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put some in, in here now because I see there's not a lot of people over here because we, I may go back off but however I'm not going to vlog because this vlog is very long I'm going to have to separate the pieces of course you're probably going to already notice that some of the pieces is separated but I'm just saying you guys I got to wait on this pump oh yes came at the perfect time so yeah I'm just having to learn now like the way I learned for my period now I'm going to have to learn about the menopausal state like, what's going on with my body? But y'all, hold on for a second. All right, you guys. So, yeah, you guys. Um, that's just something that I need to do. And um, I need to just get this checked out and see what a stomach doctor think about. And I also need to call and just get with the gynecologist and get back on the the pill that I absolutely love. The problem is some people don't recommend it because some people say, you know, going three months without a period when you do have the period is going to be heavy. For me, it was just heavy for one day and then that was it. Okay. Um, then it, it just depends on everybody's body, depends on what's good. I had good response to it. I really did until after a year. I started having real bad cramps, like really intense cramps. And that's what made me stop it. That's why I stopped taking it. But I should have called the gynecologist and just informed them because that could have been something that could have been used additionally uh, or something that she could have gave me for the cramps um, because I love the birth control. But me being in this menopausal state, I do feel like, or in the process, um, I still have a period, so I'm not menopausal. But you know, I'm at the age. Um, I do. This need. To, I need to be flat. Let me see if I can get flatter because the way this car is, I can't be on a hill with this car for some reason. That's diesel fuel, right? Yeah, it is. I'm gonna wait on this person here they should be getting done but anyways something about when I park on a hill with this car it's like it does funny I don't know 
And that's something I gotta get. I gotta get me a vehicle, like for real. I know I'm telling you all this stuff I need to get, but it's true. It's true. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna call the gynecologist and I'm gonna get back on that pill and yeah, I think that's gonna do good. I love going three months without a period. That was the most special thing about it. You know what? I can go on around. This is gonna be a while because this person is getting everything like ice and everything. Okay, this is gonna be a while. We're about to run out of gas. So um let me see. I get this one on number 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 two. Okay. Yeah, this one's a little flatter and it's not twisted. Yep. The light just came on, so let me get some gas. I'll be back. Okay, you guys. So let's head on back home and I'm not sure if we're gonna come back out. Like I said, I'm not gonna vlog. Uh we might wait because there's something come up that we might we probably have to go off tomorrow but i don't know though when i get home i may like i don't know i might just wait till tomorrow but um there's a couple things that i did want to take a look at today but however it might be tomorrow or honestly it might be just another day because i've uh shopped a lot for my birthday and I'm excited I'm happy for what I got and um, so yeah yeah that's it right there but there is a few things that I still like to have and I'm just getting them before the holiday season which is already in but you know before Christmas, I have everything like makeup products that I want, uh, eyeshadow palettes that I want, things like that I have. So when December gets here, I won't be looking for things that that's gonna be sold out. I'll have what I want. Like I can't wait. Like I said, I got already an outfit for Christmas. Um, I'm thinking about going to this community thing that they normally have in town. I haven't been to one in years, but I feel like doing it because I'm celebrating um, the fact that I, you know, the Lord has healed my body and I got a lot to be thankful for. I got a lot to praise God for. And so, yeah got a lot to be thankful for so I feel like going to this particular place and just sit down you sit down and you have a dinner like a little dinner and they sing songs we sing Christmas songs and like a gospel song and the community gets together and you just have a nice time you can win things and stuff like that i'm thinking about doing it this year because i want to do something for christmas just like i just did a lot for my birthday but of course christmas is more you know it's, it's, it's very important to me to give praise to god for and thank him for everything this year i got a lot to praise him for so i may do something like that or if there's something else i hear about that the community may be doing i might participate i don't know but i just want to give praise to god for my life my health my strength um coming through trauma going you know just facing so much in my life all these moves like moving from one place to the next that put a burden on my life for the last five years it's been very hard for me and i survived i made it through but i couldn't have made it without god and jesus i could not have did all of that as a female with no help a single mom i couldn't have done it without god so i got a lot to be thanking god for or thanking god for and giving him praise now why do they pass people like that 
that can cause a major accident. Like Fort Payne police, when you see this, like I've never seen anything like this ever. Like when people turn in, then the cars just go around you and you got your blinkers on to turn left. Like that is a bunch of fucking bullshit. You just don't do that. I could just turn and then that would have been an accident. That could have been an accident. Two cars, two cars, okay? That is like somebody that do not even have driver's license. Like when I was taking my test, they would tell me all the time, you know, you stop, put on your blinkers and the cars behind you is gonna stop because they know you're about to turn. Okay, and these people, you can put on your blinkers and get ready to turn and they just go around you. And it's not me flagging them, telling them, go on around. I'm not saying that. <sighs> Y'all, okay, I ain't got time to be angry. Okay, or angry, but yeah, you guys, I'm fixed to get inside. This is how everything is looking. This is my top. I did put a bralette underneath just to kind of cover my bra. But at the same time, you guys, this is my look. I put some glitter on my lids. Put some lashes on. The makeup looked very natural. However, I have the glass marks there. Excuse that. But this is my makeup. I've been loving my foundation routine. So, yeah, you guys, I'm excited. I thank you for watching, and please come back for more vlogs. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in my next video, and stay sexy, beautifuls, and goodbye. <laughs>